Professor Martins, it's Mrs Edwards here. I'm missing you all, so I thought I would share some of my favourite Easter crafty ideas that maybe you can do while you're at home. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to make this morning is the, are these little pots of flowers. Now, you can choose whatever kind of flowers you want. What you'll need to make one of these is some coloured paper. If you haven't got any colour paper, that's fine. You could always use some colourful pages from a magazine or a catalogue. Obviously, ask the person whose catalogue or magazine it is if they've finished reading it first. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, some tape and a pencil. So if you've got all that, let's get started. So what you need to do, first you need to get your piece of paper, a green piece. Um, probably best if it's green because it's going to be the, what makes the stems um, and you're going to fold that in half lengthways so that it's a long skinny piece of paper and then you're going to gently roll it up not too tightly just so that it's about the same size as a toilet roll in a tube and secure the end with a bit of tape just halfway down hmm. and so that the folded side is at the top. Next you're going to eat with your scissors you're going to carefully slip down halfway along the tube about just over a centimetre wide strips. So you've come this. all the way around the outside and then you need to do is if you haven't got any any other colour paper you can also just draw these on white paper and colour it in. You can draw some flower shapes when you've drawn your flowers carefully cut them out. Really the best way when you're cutting something out it's really good to keep the scissors still and move the paper also really helps if you want to cut them out roughly first and then you can cut them out in a bit more detail. Now I've cut out my flowers, I'm going to cut out some circles to go in the middle of my flowers from a different coloured piece of paper. Now if I fold this in half, it means I can cut two out at the same time. And then I'm going to stick them with a bit of glue in the middle of my yellow flower like that. You need to make lots of these, as many of these as you've got stems and once you've made them you put a bit of glue stick on them and you can stick one on each of your stems so it should look like this and then you carry on until you've stuck a flower on each of your stems and you've got a whole bunch like that. You can have different variations, this one I've made daffodils, this is one where they're all different colours and that's the one that I've made from a magazine. The last thing you need to do is make a vase. So you're at this stage you need to make a vase which is really simple. So I get my piece of paper from a page from a magazine, and fold it in half, roll it up, but a little bit bigger this time so that my pot of flowers will fit inside. And then pop them in the top. There you go. I hope you have fun making these. If you've enjoyed making some paper flowers, maybe you could make them even bigger. I've made some bigger ones here, which I've put on a longer strip of paper, and then I'm going to make that into an Easter bonnet. <laughs> but keep watching because I'm also going to do some other Easter crafts. I'm going to make some Easter bunny ears, and we're going to be having some fun with <laughs> eggs. Thank you for watching.